Okay. What's up guys, Sal here. So when Samsung launched the first Galaxy Note, people mocked it for its size. Mainstream media even said to not buy it. If you don't remember, here's the video. And Samsung is making headlines with the new Samsung Galaxy Note. Bottom line, you're gonna look really dumb holding this up to your face. I need to show you my new phone. New phone. That is ridiculous. Samsung has no idea what they're doing. This is like talking to a piece of toast. <laughs> People are actually calling this thing a phablet. Skip over the Samsung Galaxy Note completely. But turns out every one of them were wrong. Galaxy Note phones single-handedly kickstarted the trend of big screen phones. Apple, who once mocked Galaxy phones for their size, is releasing big screen phones these days. The same thing happened with their foldable phones as well. A lot of people and media said foldable phones aren't the future. There's no need for such phones and whatnot. And guess what? They were wrong yet again. People said Samsung wouldn't sell these devices in millions. And just like the original Galaxy Note, people also said to not buy the foldable phones. Of course, consumers didn't listen to the naysayers. And now we have some data to effectively conclude that not only the foldable phones are the future, but they're about to take over the mainstream flagships. The Galaxy Z Fold 2 that has been launched recently is the best implementation of foldables we have so far. The amount of progress that Samsung did in a year is commendable. They have crafted the most promising foldable yet. And people are hyped about this handset. 80,000 people in South Korea alone pre-order the Galaxy Z Fold 2. And that too in just 4 days. The demand for it is so strong that Samsung has decided to push back the official launch date of the Z Fold 2 in South Korea. Samsung has sold 500,000 units of the original Galaxy Fold so far, so 80,000 units in just 4 days in just one market is impressive. Not only that, Ross Young, the CEO of Display Supply Chain Consultants, forecasts in his new report that Samsung could sell at least 4 million foldable phones this year with a market share of 80%. He expects the Galaxy Z Flip to be the best-selling foldable phone this year, the Z Fold 2 will follow its cheaper sibling to come second, and the Motorola Razr will be the third best-selling foldable phone in 2020. Now due to the success of foldable smartphones, Ross Young also says in one of his tweets that Samsung could move the Galaxy Z Flip 2's launch, the successor to the original clamshell Z Flip, to the second half of the year with the Galaxy Z Fold 3. The Galaxy S21 and Note 21 could launch in the first half of the year in February. So basically their main traditional flagships will launch in February and their foldable flagships will launch in August. Now this is something I can't confirm, it might happen, might not happen, I guess time will tell. But it's clear that foldable is the main focus of Samsung these days and why not? Millions of people are buying these phones even at $2,000 price tag. Ice Universe also said in a tweet, which he later deleted, that Samsung now considers their foldable smartphones as the flagship smartphone they have to offer. The Galaxy S and Note series no longer have that status, which again is hard to digest. Like I've said, time will tell. In any case, let me know what you think about this down in the comments. And as always, I'll see you tomorrow. Peace out.